My name is Ashley, also known as a Stitching Penguin. Um, it is, oh, that's convenient, January 21st, Saturday, uh, about 3.30. This video is probably going to take about three days to upload because my internet sucks where we're at now, but we'll talk about that later. Um, it's been since <clears throat> mid-October. Um, I'm going to try to keep the coughing at bay. I've had this cough for like two weeks now. Um, again, we'll get back to that later. If it requires pants, it's not happening. Because who likes pants? Oh, it's so good. Okay. Where to start? <laughs> Do I know how to make one of these anymore? Um, as you can see, um, those that have been with me for a while, definitely a new location. Um, for those that are just now finding me or are new, welcome. I appreciate your time for stopping by and I hope you like what you see. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it's, it's been a minute since I made a floss tube. We've had a lot going on, but I've still stitched not as much as I used to because as most of you know I have had a baby and it's been great it has been just like everything has got ups and downs but it's it's nice it's it's awesome um <clears throat> so today I'm going to start with whips got a lot of whips I have a lot of haul um talk about some plans, uh, life, I'll talk about at the end. I got a lot of that. I got a lot of everything, so I guess we'll just jump in <clears throat> and then let's go from there. Um, there's no, there's not gonna be any particular order. Um, I have written down mostly what I've worked on since I last, I've been on floss tube. Um, I've also posted some on um, Instagram, not as much as I should, but I, if there's an opportunity for me to stitch, I'm taking stitching over anything else. Um, I did do a vote to see if you all wanted me to do a video every six months and, or I think it was one to two months and, ow, majority rules. AJ's here. Hello. Um, <clears throat> so, and I miss being here. It, it takes a lot to make a video sometimes because it takes away from stitching, sometimes family time, um, but it is also a nice break to reconnect with stitchy friends and stitchy people. Um, welcome to 2023. I, I'm going to start. My brain's not here. If you see the camera shaking, my cat is rubbing up against my um, ring light, so... <clears throat> I hope the lighting is pretty good in here. I didn't even turn on my ring light, but first things first, we have, <coughs> excuse me, this is Reader's Paradise, Amy Stewart. Uh, this is on 28 count Monaco Lugana um, something. I, I can't remember what it is. I, I think I should have written it down, but. I didn't. Um, if you know how to tell the difference, please let me know because I'm not sure. All I know is it's nice to work with. But, ooh, we have a fan on too. There is the picture. And I am in love with this piece. And I'm doing this two over one tenth stitch, 28 count. And I think I love. 28 count. I like how it looks. And as I'm stitching it, I keep seeing more and more come out of this. 
and I love this. Since it has been such a while, I'm not going to talk about um, how many stitches I put in. I plan to keep track moving forward, but I just, I haven't, like I said, between the holidays, family, I just, I just sat down and stitched. Um, I don't think I'm going to put before pictures this time, but I do plan on jumping in because I like to see it for my own benefit because it shows me, hey, I did make a lot of progress on that. I like watching it and I hope you guys do too. But yeah, I love this. It's looking great and I can't wait to work on this some more. So yeah, that's uh, Reader's Paradise. This is the regular by Amy Stewart. My first Amy Stewart piece I started. And if you catch that, I started. So we'll talk about more about that later. Okay. Let's see. I guess we'll pull this one out. This one I've been kind of running with <clears throat> since I've seen Kaylee Cross Stitches finished. I have been working on it, working on it, working on it, and have not wanted to stop. So this is music. <coughs> Excuse me. But in Beads Mill Hill, music. Love this piece. Like, fell in love. And this is my first Mill Hill that I'm probably going to finish really soon. Because compared to my last video, I have made tremendous progress. I have done all the back stitching, <clears throat> all the stitching, and as you can see, the beading has started. I started the beading last night, and I am in love. It's it's definitely a challenge. I still struggle with back stitch because of the counting, and it's definitely out of my comfort zone. I've never beaded anything either, so this is my first beading. Um, more than likely going to be my first Mill Hill finish because apparently Playful Penguins has been dropped to the wayside. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I plan to frame this. Um, I heard a lot of people don't really care for the Mill Hill frames. So I'm thinking about just finding like a five by five or a six by six frame, um, on Amazon or something, maybe Walmart and seeing if it, that'll look good or if it'll fit and then, um, go from there. But yes, I love this piece. I'm hoping to finish this this week. So excited. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I can't remember. So if I show it and there's not been progress since the last time, I do apologize. Um, but this is Bunny and Cats. Hold on. It's somewhere in my bag. I am not prepared. Definitely not prepared. There it is. <clears throat> this is Bunny and Cats, Sugar Plum Wizards. So cute. So simple stitch. Um, I was taking this for when I go for my infusions because I do have an autoimmune disease that requires um, infusions. So I was taking this and working on it. They stabbed me in my hand. <clears throat> and... This is how far I am. It's so cute. So I'll eventually get back to this too. Well, my plan is, is I have two of these on one ring. So like one of these, I have two projects. You can definitely tell which is which. So one's my Melody, the other one is Bunny and Cats. And so once I do finish one of them, then I will start another small. But if I'm smart, I would finish my Playful Penguins first, but what's another start? Next, I have Kitten Attack. This is charted by Tilton Crafts. Uh, artist is Emperor Pep. I guess I will, I'll pop, um, what is with the words? I will pop pictures, or my husband will pop pictures, right here. <clears throat> At least of what it looks like. But. <clears throat> this is where I'm at. So I have finished most of the um, 
ceiling and um, let me see if I can fold it. This is 18 count by the way, two over one full cross. And now I'm working on like the window sill or not the window sill, the window, the top of the window. And there's a cat I think that pops out like right here. But <clears throat> I thought about jumping straight to the cat. But if I do that, then I'm not going to come back to the top. So I've put in quite a few stitches on this one. I can't even see. Hello. <clears throat> so kitten attack. I I was planning to do this as a rainy day, but I, I got pretty burnt out during rainy day last year. I'm at the point where I just want to work on what I want to work on. This is Bookworm Fairy. I believe it's Hannah Disney. Yes, Hannah Disney, charted by Heaven Earth Designs. I'm doing this one 18 count, two over one full cross, and I've made quite a bit of dent on this one. I may need to, I can't scoot back any farther. There we go. So I filled in um, the lantern. I'm starting to fill in the lantern. Sorry about that. Sorry. I went into a coughing fit. <clears throat> um, like I was saying, I started the lantern and I started filling in the lantern. So it was a lot of like dark blues and brown. There we go. It kind of looks like a grenade though at this point. And then um, this part right here, that's the book. It's so exciting. My goal was to finish this in time for my birthday this year in August. I doubt it because I had to put in like a uh, hundred and something stitches per day. And since then, every time I make plans, it's like, rebel, don't do it. Find something else to do. So I'm... I was planning to have it finished. It may be finished by this year. Who knows? Maybe by the end of the year. But at this point, I would just do what I want to do. So yes, Bookworm Fairy Mini Heaven Earth Designs. <clears throat> and I'm organizing as I go so it's less clean up at the end. Next up, I have Wonder Woman, Warrior Princess, uh, charted by Tilton Crafts and artist Daniel Kordak. <clears throat> I'm doing this one also on 18 count, two over one full cross, and I have done so much last year on this piece because this was my rainy day project. <clears throat> With my rainy day project, I chose to do 200 stitches every time it rained. Do you know how many times it has rained last year? Well, let me just tell you. I'm going to go get my book. Okay, I got my book. It has rained. Sorry. 81 days last year. So I have the Black Nail Society Stitching Journal and for they had a um what's it called a rainy day project tracker i literally ran out of raindrops and had to draw my own and i only highlighted what i was able to complete because at one point i couldn't keep up it was raining three, four, five days in a row. It wasn't happening. <laughs> but I did get so much progress done on this one. I did. Let me go back. <clears throat> Where are you? Wonder Woman. I didn't even write it down. I'm pretty sure it's like 17,000 stitches. I'll, I'll put it up here somewhere. 
of how many I did, but it was, it could have been 17,000 stitches. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It, it was a lot in my standards, but yes, here I am. <clears throat> it's looking awesome. I'm finally glad I'm out of just background. I have a head and I think Alma, Alma's Little Wonders, she has hers. And I think she's picking that it back up this month. And I'm so excited to see where she goes with it. So, <clears throat> Wonder Woman Warrior Princess. I still pick it up every now and again, but right now I'm, I'm a little burnt out. So, it's kind of going away for a minute. <clears throat> okay. Next. I didn't put too much work in this one, but I did put a little bit. Uh, this is Mini Sunflower Cottage uh, by Donna Gelsinger. <clears throat> I started this one as a stitch along. And this is where I'm at. So I started filling in a lot of the spaces here because <clears throat> there was a lot of gap, but now a lot of it's filled in. I think I may only have like five or six stitches over there. And then I start coming over here and working right here on this green. I think I did a little bit of blue over here. I've been trailing some down in here and then I've been filling in this and then some of this. <clears throat> so this one's coming along. I love this one too. This one is also on 28 count, but I can tell for sure that it's a different fabric compared to my Reader's Paradise. And I noticed I have to stitch with a 20, a 28 count needle because I think my sweet needle is a 24, which I know is huge, but um, I pick out my 28 count, my 28 needle for these. Is it 28 needle? I think it's 28 needle. Because the smaller the number, the bigger the needle. Yes, 28 needle. <clears throat> and I'm doing that one um, two over one tenth stitch. See, I'm trying to get back in the groove of this floss tube thing. It's been a minute. All right. Next, we have Juliet, also by uh, Char by Tilton Crafts. This is by Takaki. This one is out of print retired out of print <clears throat> this one I am working my way back across and that's where I'm at so if I'm not mistaken I've worked on <clears throat> right here this section so we got the arch coming in. I'm gonna pick this one back up too. The colors, I love blue. Blue is my favorite. was my last one that I have worked on. I've been um, bouncing to different projects, but they've been usually the same projects I've been bouncing around to. So I've gotten just a lot more stitches on, sm on less projects. Uh, this one is You Make My Heart Melt by Donna Gelsinger. I'm doing this one with um, Stitching Brit Angela. <clears throat> and we have both cropped ours to, to take care of less background. And that's where I'm at. This one is done on 18 count, Ada, two over one full cross. I just, after, cause this is a piece I um, start over. 
So after I started over, I'm still enjoying this piece, but I feel like I'm still a little burnt out from the first time I stitched this. No, actually. I'm missing one. Actually, I found two more that I've worked on. Okay. This next one is Or the Phoenix. Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix, chartered by Tilton Crafts. Artist is Zed Richter. Uh, it, this is also retired out of print. Is there, a, hey, is there a difference? I guess retired means they don't make it anymore and out of print means that they had limited copies. Something like that. Anyway. I kind of went crazy on this one a little bit. This is done on 18 count oatmeal, two over one full cross. And I started getting into something besides 939. I actually have color. So I think that's kind of why I took it and ran. I think this is like green over here. Yes, that's green. Ooh, green. So. I think I'm over halfway across on this one at this point, but this one was a good, I'm tired, but I want to still stitch. So it, it held my attention without overworking my brain. So this one was my go-to for a couple nights in a row. And then <clears throat> my last one, this is Mini Magic Study Rainbow Version. Uh, this is by Rose Khan, Heaven Earth Designs. Love this one. I love the colors. This is my I Need Color project because this one just, I don't know, it makes me happy. <clears throat> this is my I Had a Bad Day. I Need Some Color. I'm doing this one. Oh, there's still a needle in it too. Oops. Hold on. I'm doing this one on 22 count, two over one full cross. Hey, look at the colors. It's so nice. So, we got a butterfly right here. Mm -hmm. This is like beads, I think, that come this way. I don't know what the rest is just yet. I think this is like one of the little drapey things. Drapey things. I'm English. Hello. I don't know. See, I love this piece. And like when I'm looking at the camera, I can see what's going on. I know you're supposed to look at it from a distance. But I don't know. I may not buy any more minis. If I'm being all honest. I think because of the detail, I think it would be worth to do the full regular piece. I wouldn't do anything crazy like super size max color. I love people that do those pieces though. Like Linda. I miss Linda. Linda cracks me up. Linda. Linda's 144 hobbies. And um... <clears throat> Creativity by Gidge. Amy. Amy came back with the whip parade. And I was so happy. And same with, um... Oh, I just reached out to her. DNA Geek Crafts. I miss them. I miss my floss two people. Okay. That's all my whips. Um... I want to go stitch now. But I have responsibilities. Um... I guess next I'll do some haul. Uh, I do have quite a bit because I do a gift exchange with some stitchy friends of mine. Um, I speak about both of them a lot. We have Gold Trinket, Katrina, who is supposed to be making a floss tube, along with my aunt, who has like 2,000 whips, is supposed to be making a floss tube, but I'm still waiting. I know you both watch my videos. I'm waiting. Um, and then stay at home stitcher Aaron. So 
I have quite a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let me start this one. Okay. So I got this as a kit. I can't adult today. This is Monday through Friday. Can't adult. Sorry. Can't do it. It includes the hoop, the fabric, the thread, the needle, and the instructions. So this is basically already kitted up and ready to go. <clears throat> then I have, let's see, this is called Catitudes. This is Jeanette Cruz Designs because I love cats. And I think the one, there was a couple I was going to do. This one because it looks like my biscuit. It says, if you can't read it, cleanliness is next to impossible. And then this one also this is what's for dinner because when he's looking for food, he stands up on his legs. <clears throat> I think there's a couple others in here too that they don't show on the front, but of course it's just the pattern, so I can't show it. Oh, someone dropped something. But yes, there's lots of cats. He went cat in a hat. He had a cat in a hat. So cute. That one's actually on the back. Boop. <coughs> I got this one. This one actually came out of a magazine that was sent to me, the full kit. I think I have a picture of this because I already stitched this one. I had a finish. There we go. A fully finish. So I already stitched this one and I gave it to my mom for Christmas. Because at first I was like, oh, that's a really cute penguin. And then I kept looking and I said, that's not a penguin. And I'm like, maybe I should read because it says, it says it's a robin on here. Yeah. It says Christmas robin. So, it came with the card to make it, the, um, the floss, the fabric, everything. So, it was cute. It was a really cute stitch. I modified it a little bit um, on the actual stitch part, and I'll show it to you if I have. I think I have a picture. We'll put it in here if I have a picture. But on the words, I just, like, crossed it like an envelope, like it was the back of the envelope. <clears throat> because um, I tried stitching the words and it just, it didn't look right. It's supposed to read Christmas North Pole, but it didn't, it looked like <laughs> Then I got, <coughs> I got this cross stitch magazine. I think my mom got this for me. She must've saw it at the, at the store and was like, hmm. Cross stitch. That looks like up my daughter's alley. I did. I flipped through it, and there's quite a bit in here that I would actually stitch. I'm not gonna lie. They have a lot of motifs, like these slots are super cute. Ooh, hold on, slots. Can't see. There we go. Those were super cute something else I really liked. <clears throat> These sweaters are super cute. Hold on. We're just going to do a little quick flip through. How about that? These are all super cute. Everything. They're just so cute. They're little quick stitches. Hold on. They even have like an advent calendar, which is on the front. <coughs> Hold on. This is another part I really liked. I'm gonna find it. No, not that. Nah. Oh, these, because you know, 
Why would I be called a stitching penguin if I didn't like penguins? Super cute. I think Chloe would like that. The pe penguin stitcher? I need to check on her. I haven't heard from her in a while. I don't think it's even the penguin stitcher. Her name's Chloe. She also stitches penguins. But anyway, and that one's really cute, the stocking. I don't think I would stitch a stocking, but it's really cute. <coughs> okay, then I've got Gallery of Stitches. It's called Too Many Cats. I said that looks like Biscuit. I can make that one look like AJ. But they're so cute. But the best part is it's got like a little frame already and I can paint it whatever color I want which is probably going to be that color because I really like that color. But look at it. Isn't that cool? So one can never have too many cats. <laughs> then I have design work crafts these are ornaments I can make they're so cute as you can see there's a theme going on which I guess I'm going to have to have a tree for and I'm debating do I want this on my main tree in the future or do I want to have a separate cross stitchy tree Decisions, decisions. But these are cute. It comes with the plastic canvas, the floss, everything. <clears throat> Sorry. You'll probably see random breaks because I keep pausing and chopping because I'm coughing. Okay. This one's like one of my favorites. I want to start this immediately, but I have like 20 other things I want to start. So, one thing at a time, right? <clears throat> this is called bow ties. Um, well, actually, it's called Playful Penguins, which is kind of redundant because I have a mill hill called Playful Penguins. This is by Michael A. LeClaire. But look at it! Look how cute they are! And look at that ribbon. I was talking to my friends and I said, I don't think I would make that a door hanger, but that would make, make a really cute tree topper. So it may become a tree topper. <clears throat> this is not our one I really, really want to start. And I actually have the fabric for it. I have a lot of fabric. We'll get back. We'll get to that soon. But this is um, You Are My Sunshine, designed by Ursula Michael. So, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You may have been skies are gray. So, I'm excited to do this one too. Because it makes me happy. Now my question is, do I want to do this on white fabric or do I want to do it on colored fabric? That's the real question. But we'll figure that out another day. <clears throat> now, um, there's a story behind this one. Um, when I was little, I used to watch Wizard of Oz over and over and over and over until I broke the VHS tape. Then we got a new one, and I watched it over and over. So this one was gifted to me, along with everything else in this pile. I'm still missing something. Did it fall on the floor? I'm still missing something. <clears throat> Worst case, I'll show it in the next one. Uh, the power is there whenever you choose. It's found in the heart 
not in your shoes. This is Silver Creek Samplers. This is my first one by them. Wizard of Oz. Love Wizard of Oz. I want to start that one too. Um, and more than likely be DMC. Now this does have some Weeks Dye Works in it though. Um, so we will see. One, two, and they have Gentle Arts. Hmm. I've never used. Did I use Weeks Dye Works? I know I haven't used Gentle Arts, but Weeks Dye Works. That may be the one I've used. <clears throat> um, and then this one is also another one I want to start. This is Meow at the Moon. It's so cute. It looks like my biscotti. So cute. Um, this is just DMC. Um, I don't know. It looks like it's kind of like on an oatmeal -y color. Vintage. It was stitched on vintage Luna linen. So I may find something similar to that or maybe like a, a mocha. Mocha color. But I want to start this one too. It's so cute. So we'll see. Oh, I have more haul over here. I also did get this awesome big bucket and it's got like side pockets. I'm like, I don't know what stitchy things I want to put in this though. And like it, it collapses. But right now there's a charger and a piece of floss in it. But I don't know what I want to put in it just yet. I haven't figured that out because right now I have to keep everything like in one spot and I have to take it out every time I want to stitch. It's Water Malone. It's cute. And then I got this little hedgehog bag that was stitched by Erin. And it comes with a little hedgehog charm, which I'll probably put on one of my bags. He got a little funny clover in his hand. Boop. Oh, and then I got goodies in the in the bag too. I forgot about these. I gotta show these. I got these for Christmas. They're like little book book holder things for your thumb. They're really cool, but every time I flip the page, I have to pick it up, flip the page, put it back down. So next time I'll probably get one of these because I like them. They don't put a lot of pressure on your like hand, but get the one with the hole. So that all you gotta do is like pick up your thumb and flip the page, but they're so pretty. I think they're resin. <clears throat> then I got this needle minder. Alice in Wonderland. And I got, I think Erin made these into needle minders. I'm pretty sure she did. I have this one. Focused. It says catnip. And then I have this one. It's in a little kangaroo. And then I have these. And I am in love with these and I don't know what to do with them. But I got all the Wizard of Oz characters. These are hand modeled clay. Erin got these for me. I think she asked Amber. Rogue Mama Stitcher. Rogue Mama Stitcher. I think she asked Amber about these because I think Amber has these and possibly Heather the Confetti Stitcher. I know she's got these, but they may be Disney instead. But these are handmade. I'll have to figure out what shop it is or where she got them so I can link them below because I am in love. And I don't know what I want to do with them. Some people make them into needle minders, but I'm afraid that they'll break. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, so I just need to put them in a safe place. But we have the Tin Man. Oh, 
We got Dorothy. Scarecrow. And this one looks like my baby. This is the lion. Oh, it's got my baby face. Like it's blurry. There we go. And I am. So I got those. And they're so cute. But that's all my haul. That's all my stitching. Now let's talk about like a recap from last year for stitching. <laughs> let's talk about whip go. I did pretty good with Whipco. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, here's my Whipco board. The ones I highlighted, I have finished. Now, I believe I finished Order of the Phoenix. Maybe Chamber of Secrets, or I was only like a hundred short. Did not do Prisoner of Azkaban. Kitten Attack, definitely, which is right here. <clears throat> I didn't finish the outline on my butterfly. I didn't finish sweatpants. Didn't even touch my Monopoly board. Didn't touch my snowman. And I think I did one day on Ruskin's Penguins. It was like... I stayed current, I stayed current, I stayed current, had a baby, played a little bit of catch up, and then I just went. <clears throat> <coughs> and then, what I did last year is I logged all my projects. What you see highlighted are ones I finished. So I finished one, two, <clears throat> five projects six projects one two three four five six seven projects because I finished Coco Time my PlayStation controller my Porg the little Robin I showed you for Christmas Solemnly Swear which is hanging up over there Stitchers First Tiny Modernist. And actually, I finished my temperature stitch that isn't even on here. So, <clears throat> four, eight projects finished. But looking at what I've started, I've, I have 33 projects. And I want to start more. So now the question is, <clears throat> finish things and then start more, or start more and just wee wee? So what I did is I stitched over 56,000 stitches. What I physically could count was about, it was a little over 56,000 because I added it up. But um, <clears throat> I couldn't log how many stitches I did on anything else because of, you know, it's it's a mill hill or it's a paper pattern, you know. So just what I could physically log was 56,000. So I know I did over 60,000 stitches last year. So what I'll probably do <coughs> is I'll probably post this on my Instagram <coughs> to just kind of show everything I have and how many stitches I put in. So... My, my page is janky, but it did the job. <clears throat> so yeah, it's, I feel like it was a good year. But that's all my stitching. Um, plans. I think I'm just going to stitch whatever I want. If you like something specific or you're stitching a project that I'm currently working on and you want to stitch it with me, let me know. I could probably delegate it for the week and see how much I can get done on it. Um, but other than that, I'm not doing a book go. 
Um, I'm not doing anything specific, really. I don't think I am. Oh, I, ha I actually have more haul, but it's all on my phone. <clears throat> so, I got two, three, three or four Heaven Earth designs. Two were gifted. I got a more Dior. Um, and then I got Coloring Book by Amy Stewart. I'll put pictures up as I talk about them. Um, I want to start the coloring book one, like, now, immediately. But I need, I plan to do it on 28 Cal because it's so massive. Because, uh, Katrina got me a buttload of 18 Cal. And I'm going to use that and do a ton of small projects. I'm excited. Um, <clears throat> but I, I was going to do it on 18 Cal, but it would be, like, the size of a bed sheet. So I'm going to do it on 18 Cal, 2 over 1 temp stitch. And I want to start it now, right now, but I need to get fabric. I think it's like 22 by 29 inches is what I need after adding a two inch border. Which is very hard to find at a store here. <clears throat> so I may have to order it from 123Stitch. And I'm thinking I may try the Easy Guide, Easy Grid, pre-gridded fabric. Because it's only like $1.50 more. So might as well try that and see how it goes. Um, same with the Amore Dior. I think I'm gonna also do that one on 28. It's uh, a regular and it's only like 14 colors. So it can't be that hard to do, but you know, it's it's a hate. It's still a hate regardless. <clears throat> then, I can't remember her name, but she had free patterns on her website and Amy, Creativity by Gidge, showered her out, and I think she's doing like a sal with, um, Kelly. I, I can't remember her handle, but I'm friends with her on Facebook. She's doing a, a stitch along with Kelly, and that's how I found patterns, and I got ten of them and they're cute they're really cute so I picked up 10 of those I don't know when I'm going to start them but I have other priority patterns first but I, I plan to at least start a couple of them like um, <clears throat> the dragon one's really cute and I like the butterfly which I think um, Tara has purchased too who is also a floss tuber, and I can't remember her handle. I know, I'm, I'm really bad at this. I gotta get back into it. I don't, I usually have notes, and I have no notes today. You are getting raw Ashley. Um, <clears throat> so she got a butterfly one, and then there was a girl holding like planets. I'll, I'll just have like a slideshow of pictures, like, over on the side or here somewhere wherever there was something else I thought I got heaven earth had a, a free Christmas pattern and it was AI generated which I'm I'm kind of I'm gonna be honest I'm kind of not happy about because AI is taking jobs from artists in its terrible quality like Santa had like six fingers and they're known for like bad hands and bad faces, like eyes and stuff. And I don't know, I think I'm a little upset about the situation. So I deleted it because I feel like them of all people would know that's taking the jobs away from artists. Granted, it was a free pattern, so I can't, I can't really be too upset about it, but <clears throat> Once I found it was AI and started looking at it some more, I was I was kind of sad about it. So I deleted that and moved on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um But I think that's all my stitching. Every haul, plans. 
that's it. So I guess we'll move on to life. If you were here just for the stitching in the hole, thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next month or two. Um, if you plan to stay for life updates, thank you for staying. And we'll jump into that now too. <clears throat> so in November we moved. We moved I moved back to Georgia. I'm originally from Georgia. Um, <clears throat> it was cheaper and um, just be close to family because my mom lives here. We're actually with my mom. It's, it's nice. It's nice to be around family again. Um, baby penguin is a little over eight months now. He just had a second tooth bust through. He's, he's precious. He's so precious. Um, we're just kind of figuring out what we plan to do with, I don't know, our future, I guess. We're saving for our house. Um, we just spend time with family at this point. Um, <clears throat> I have read a couple books. I've read, oh my gosh, what have I read? I can't even tell you what I read. <laughs> I know one was a Maya Banks book. I think it was Rush. And then I read The Storyteller, which is like a Holocaust book. That one was really good. <clears throat> I think that's... I've read like two more other books, but I can't tell you. <laughs> My mind is shot. I do apologize. I gotta make these in the morning when I have coffee and not tea. But I guess I'll leave it at that. And if you have questions, let me know. If you wanna talk, reach out. You can find me on Instagram. Um, <clears throat> and hopefully I'll see you again in within one to two months. But thank you for stopping by for my TED Talk. <laughs> and I'll see you all later. Bye.